I want to sell 50 cent waters. You know how they sell quarter waters in the hood? I want to sell it for 50 cent. Let's find a company to do the quarter water deal and do 50 cent, the bigger ones. You know, after you the, the quarter, fight, he came up with Wait this a minute, fight? this is 50 just right. talking. I said the right. man's a genius. He spoke everything into existence. All right. All right. I want to sell 50 cent waters. Chris says, all right. Chris goes back and does the research. Finds a company called Glacial. It was right next to Shea Stadium in Queens. Jesus. Has a meeting with Rohan. Rohan says, okay, let's go, let's talk to them. Let's have a conversation. Oh, Rohan, Rohan used to be the head of Coca-Cola. Like he, he come from the movie Zohan? Uh, no. He could, he could, he could. No. But this is a man behind Pop Chips and Vita Coco. This is a man that, he's on Shark Tank. Mm, all right, that Rohan. Okay, all right. all right. So Rohan comes in, they do a presentation. They bring about 30 bottles of water, all different colors. He says, well, this is what we got, guys. 50 goes, vitamin. Y'all want the urban market? Where's the grape? All right. Ding, 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 ding. They didn't have grape. Uh, so now, there's an opportunity to do business. 50 Cent didn't take no money. 50 Cent didn't take a sponsorship. 50 doubled down and said, 50,000, here you go. I'm investing in my own water. I want 10% of my water. Mm. 50 Cent said this. Wow. He wanted 10% though? He wanted skin in the game. He wanted 50 Cent investment in Glass Hill on 10% of his water. That was the deal on the team. Well, why were only 10%? I'm not understanding. Because Glass Hill was already a public company. Oh, 10% of Glass you yeah. said? No, oh, okay. no, no, 10% of his brand, his water. Which, which okay. was, the, which his was water. the great formula 50. Oh, just the great Formula okay. 50, okay. just the great. Where's okay. the great? Yeah. Okay. Put it down. All right. He put skin in the game. He bet on himself, like Khaled says. Okay. Don't use the term skin because we have dumb oh, fans. Are we, are we, are we pausing <laughs> yes, on yes, now? Yes, we pausing no, on no. skin? No, no, just uh, surprise with skin. And we don't have talking to a corporate guy right now. Money in the game. All right, so he put money in the game. Okay, wow. And he owned his own company. He owned his own business. But take the table, James. We're doing the marketing for it. We're gonna do the grassroots, the street teams, the van wraps, the piragua trucks. We're gonna do the piragua commercial. We're gonna trucks. do the photo yeah, shoots. We're gonna hire. We're gonna hire Jesse Torreira to do this. We're gonna hire Anthony Manley to do that. We're gonna take the table. So now we had an artist with money in the game. We had a marketing deal, but we had to sign a deal before a certain amount of time. We lost the opportunity. Now you want the drink champ story? Mm -hmm. Chris is locked up. Chris is in jail. We need to sign the contract by midnight. Yeah. We're at Summer Jam. Mm -hmm. Theo Sotomayor can't get in because they're not giving us no extra passes. They don't know who we bringing in there. This was real time during the beef. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got 20 passes, that's it, ain't no more. Ebro running around, everybody going crazy. Theo Sotomayor stands in the parking lot with Lord. the contract, hands it to me. I run in, 50 signs and run it back, we get it in by 12 o'clock, we got this it. This is the vitamin water country. It's Glacial Vitamin Water. Glacial. Glacial is the name of the company. Okay. What you guys know is vitamin water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he took that brand and we put it in every video, mm -hmm. we put it in every Reebok commercial. Mm -hmm. We basically did the Beats by Dre initiative mm -hmm. before there was a Beats by mm -hmm. Dre. Mm -hmm. Shout to Chris and shout to Fifth. They're the first ones that, that play stuff. We had a three-minute commercial running on MTV 12 times a day. Mm -hmm. right. That we had Reebok sneakers, we had Vitamin Water Glacia, we had G-Unit clothing. We used their platforms to maintain and sell our products. Mm -hmm. And then Coca-Cola said, okay, guys, let's buy it. Now let's pay you for this. So Coca-Cola came and bought Glass Yacht. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So 50 for only billion. owns, but 50 he only owns. He has shares. He has shares. They bought it for shares. $4 billion. That's the part you yeah. bought it for $4 billion. So he, 10%. Several million. Four, 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 <laughs> basically, it's because we want drink champs, and rather than confuse people, he had shares, which roughly equated to 10% of his own brand. Okay? You get it? Only his own brand, or he didn't have nothing in Glass Yacht? His own brand. You know, them G-Unit shoes was trash, man. Them S dots, like them Jay Z Reebok joints, like them was alright, but niggas really want to wear Reebok like that. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm from Nap, so nigga, we had Reebok classics, the white Reebok classics. Like that was like a thing for a little bit, but nigga, once Air Force Ones like really, really, really took off, I'm nobody wearing that Reebok shit like that. But Hoven Fifty got paid, so shout out to him. My ducks. My swans, welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian from group82music.com and right here we got James Cruz, Diddy's former manager talking about how 50 Cent invested $50,000 into vitamin water and flipped it to 4.1 billion. Now, I want y'all to really understand what's going on, okay? This is at the time when there wasn't a lot of sports drinks like that. 
We had Gatorade, which has been around for a while. We had Powerade, which is basically fucking sugar. All Sport came and it left. And so there was bottled water companies, but there wasn't anything that was really dominating the market like how it is today with the beverages. 50 discovered vitamin water when he was in Queens or LA or the story gets all fucked up. He said Queens, I've read that he discovered it in LA. It is what it is. Probably was Queens and the LA was a sensationalized PR story. Side note, most of the shit that you be reading about these companies, about how people get signed, are sensationalized PR stories. So be conscious of that. Back to it. So once 50 discovered this, he was like, okay, you know what? He had Chris Lighty, rest in peace, who did a lot of his business, discover that this company, Glacial, owned this. He walks into the meeting, he looks at the vitamin water, he said they really wanna hit the urban market because it's fucking 50 cent. This is 2003, 2004, 2005, he can really do a lot. He was like, yo, y'all ain't got the flavors niggas like, niggas like grape. They're like, okay, we're gonna create that. All right, well, that was my idea. So we're gonna create grape, we're gonna call it Formula 50. And I'm gonna invest $50,000 into Formula 50. And so that way I own equity stake into Formula 50. Great, now, what did he do? Because hip hop is the number one export of American culture in the world, because hip hop is the most influential culture in the world, MTV, BT, every time 50 was out, you seen him. He had vitamin water with him. He had vitamin water in his music videos. He had vitamin water everywhere. He was constantly talking about it. The same way he did effing vodka, the same way he does power, the same way he's marketing on social media now, he was doing that back then, pre-social media. Because product placement is important. When you see things, you're interested in it. Y'all look at this shirt right now, this is Racism is Lame. This is my homeboy Dana Howard's company, racismislame.com. Some of y'all have already asked about it, go visit, you can go look it up, go buy a shirt right now. Product placement is very important in videos, especially on social media now. But back then, it was all you had. So if you watch an old G-Unit 50 Cent video, you're going to see vitamin water. You're going to see G-Unit clothes. You're going to see the G-Unit sneakers because he was eating off of all of that. That shit blew the fuck up because not only was 50 involved with it, but it tastes good. It was a good product. And because of that, Coca-Cola came in. They went to Glassy Hour and said, hey, we want to buy y'all. We want to acquire y'all the same way Facebook acquired Instagram. But we're going to pay you $4.1 billion. He said, okay, sold it. And off that deal, 50 made $100 million. This is why you need to not be so much focused on your music as being your only source of income. Your music needs to be your creative expression. It needs to be how you communicate your soul to the masses. At least for me, I make sure that I keep my music as something I want to do how I want to do it. I don't really make music with the idea of, yo, I'm gonna press them with my bars. I don't really make music with the idea of like, yo, this is gonna get a shit ton of streams. I make the songs I wanna make because I don't need my music to be massively successful for me to eat because I have so much other shit going on. Every major artist who is rich has done this. Dr. Dre isn't a billionaire from The Chronic, he's a billionaire from Beats by Dre. That's how he made his money. Even look at somebody like Beyonce, who has a hammerlock on the pop R&B lane. She makes way more money outside of her music. Same with Rihanna. This is the shit you need to be doing, this is how you need to be thinking. Are you studying the game? Are you studying these people? Are you sitting in the comments arguing about who's the fucking Illuminati? Are you arguing about who's better, who's real, who's... A, are you studying this shit? Because if you study this shit, you can see the patterns. But you can market yourself so powerful if you use your music to push other products. Something that you believe in, something that you have equity in. My music, me getting one million streams on Spotify. God damn it. Try to have a serious... Fuck you. It's the reason I was able to build Group A to me. Because I knew other artists wanted to get one million streams on Spotify too. So if we set up a system, and if I offer services that can help them get there, and we charge for that, that is the way that I can be able to do this full time. And I've been doing it for years now. And now I got Group 82 Media. And now I got the podcast. And now my Instagram's doing well. And I'm monetizing my YouTube. I'm making money off of that. I'm getting so many different revenue streams, all because I started off being an artist and I got 1 million streams on Spotify. 50 Cent was able to get this vitamin water deal, get $100 million because of Get Rich or Die Trying. Why aren't y'all paying attention to this? Why aren't you setting up your business the exact same way? Why aren't you doing your music the exact same way? And I'm not saying that you can't make a good living from your music. I'm not saying that you can't, right? But a million streams on Spotify is $4,000. Our most expensive package at Group A2 is originally $10,000, but you can get it for $2,500. If I sell a package and a half, that equals what I can get from 1 million streams. So why not get both? What are you doing? 
What's your other revenue streams that you're using in the music business? You make music, you're an artist, what's your revenue streams? Even if you don't make music, I know a lot of y'all aren't. As an entrepreneur, what are your multiple revenue streams? Put them in the comments. I want people to see this. That way we can compare notes to see where people could help each other. This is group economics here. So miss me with all the gossip bullshit. Miss me with all the semantics. And let me know your revenue streams. Put them in the comments and let's see who can help who. I ain't even gonna commercialize this shit. Bullshit, always about sales. Click the link in the bio, Instagram. Click the link in the description box. YouTube, purchase more packages for 60% off right now. I'm Malcolm Pond. Y'all stay true. I'm like I'm gonna be saying, shine like a high beam. No, they wanna be me. No, they wanna be me. Uh, never gonna go broke. Money y'all on the floor. No more how they got though. Group82music.com.